let's talk about portion sizes and, and what we should be eating and what we shouldn't be eating. So um, in a typical restaurant setting, um, this is the size of plate that you're going to get. It's, uh, it's a platter size and basically we're looking for this um, as American society. We're looking for a lot of food for our money. So this is typical size of, of a restaurant portion of food. Now, most of our cupboards at home have a different plate size. And you know, most dinner plates are around 11 inches, sometimes 12, and that's what that looks like, okay? Compare it to this, all right? You see the different sizes? All right, now, let's talk about a thing called the nine inch plate. Sorry for the noise. Nine inch plate. This is the size of plate that we should be eating our meals on, okay? Um, and this is, um, if you look at um, the, aid, the American Diabetic uh, Association, they recommend a nine inch plate size. So if you have your, your grandmother's heirloom china, pull out a plate there and look at the size of that plate in, in, in conjunction with the dinner plates that you're using at your own house. You're gonna see a big difference, okay? This was the size of your grandmother's china. And this is the size that we should be eating our dinners on. So how do you portion that? What we would recommend is, is cutting that, that plate up into four sections, okay? Your protein should cover one quarter of the section. Carbohydrates, breads and grains should cover one quarter. And your vegetables should cover one half of a plate size. So in a typical meal, you really wanna fill your plate with the vegetables and not necessarily um, too much protein or too much breads and starch sources, okay? So nine inch plate, that's what you need to be looking and focusing on 